Hi ladies, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Abby, aka Ladies Take Notes. And today I am back with another video and I'm going to be sharing five mistakes to avoid when styling any thigh high boots or over the knee boots. So if you wanna know what to avoid and what not to do when styling these boots, then please keep on watching. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up if you loved what you learned. Comment your favorite tip below that you're definitely going to avoid and hit that subscribe button and that notification bell so you're the first to know when I upload a video every Friday at 1 p.m. If you're a returning subscriber, please share this video with all of your friends so that we can grow the Ladies Take Notes family. We've already surpassed 250 subscribers. The goal is to end off 2020 with 500 subscribers. So share, 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 and do what you can to support me. I appreciate all of you guys so much. Let's get into the video. So about a couple weeks ago, I filmed a video teaching you guys how to style leather over the knee boots and all thigh high boots in general and you guys loved it so much so I thought I would do the reverse and teach you guys kind of what to avoid when styling these wardrobe staples. I also want to put a quick disclaimer out there that what I think is a don't may not be something that you think is a don't. So if you see anything I classify as a don't in this video and you like it, feel free to do you. Style is all about what you make out of fashion and how you express yourself to the world. These are just the guidelines I follow, so if you wanna know my guidelines, then keep on watching. So the first don't that I wouldn't recommend you do while styling thigh high boots is styling them with tight and unflattering shorts. I feel like I don't think it's cute <laughs> quite frankly this outfit is going to show you guys two different don'ts and I'll get to the second one in a minute but it clashes because it seems like you're contrasting two different seasons you have the shorts but you can't make up your mind and you're wearing the boots are you hot or are you not hot pick a struggle sis <laughs> and so that's one of the reasons why I personally don't like it. Um, I feel like if you were to pair it with some shorts, which is actually a really great trend right now, it would be better to go with something a little bit more tailored and something that has a little bit more of a looser fit and then pair it with some tights or something for the cold weather. But the whole pairing it with the summer tight shorts, it, it doesn't, it's a no-go for me. It doesn't look put together at all. I have always said that one of the biggest ways to look put together is to wear things in your size and so wearing tight mm, just the whole thing is a no for me okay so I would avoid that that is uh, it's a no for me so next one by the way if you guys see me looking down at my phone or down and you don't know where I'm looking I just I have a list right here of all the don'ts so I'm just referring to them so the second no-go area for styling thigh-high boots would be to style it with super lightweight tops like crop tops or any tops with spaghetti straps and I say this because again it doesn't look put together it looks like you can't make up your mind between a cold season and a warm season if you were to wear something with that had thin straps or that was cropped with shorts with thigh high boots it would need something like a cardigan to make it make sense you understand I don't know if that makes any sense but wearing something so lightweight you have the tight fitted shorts you now have a tight fitted crop and then and then you have the thigh highs it it just I don't understand what you're going for I, I don't mean to sound rude I just I'm genuinely confused and so for me it would be a no um, usually a style tip when you're going for this would be have one thing that's a little bit looser have one thing that's tighter to have two things that are tight means that you're going for a very specific look and it should be styled a certain way and this way is not the way <laughs> so it's 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 a no so no to tight shorts no to crop tops with super thin straps where you're not adding a heavier material or a layering piece like a cardigan on top 
um, to bring the outfit together. For me, just holding it, it's like you're missing something and you're just going with the bare bones of what could have been a good outfit. So it's said no. I just want to clarify that I'm not saying no to crop tops when they're styled with shorts that are tight and unflattering. I'm saying no to crop tops with thin straps in general. You can style them with anything, but the second you add a thigh high boot, you need that layering piece with that heavier material because it doesn't go otherwise it just it doesn't in my opinion if you think it goes that's your prerogative you do use this so next thing. so the next mistake to avoid when styling thigh high boots is don't confuse the style of the boots with the style of the dress now what i mean by this is that there are so many different kinds of thigh high boots and i've showed them quite frequently on my channel you have lace up thigh highs you have boots that are pointed toed square toed suede velvet all different kinds of colors and textures and so each of them go with a corresponding kind of outfit when you put a certain kind of boot with a certain kind of dress you need to make sure you know what you're doing otherwise it can come off really weird if you don't do it right and so one of the examples that i have is this taupe over the shoulder dress that i got from fashion nova and pairing it with these black square toed thigh high boots that are suede that i got from miss lola they don't go because it doesn't fit it something like a midi dress that has a fitted body would go with something either pointy toed or a lace up because that way you're able to show a little bit more skin or feature the silhouette of the leg if you're going with something bulky like the black thigh highs it ruins the vibe and then you just people would they look at your outfit and they go i wonder what she was going for and you don't want to do that <laughs> You want to walk into a room and make a specific statement with your outfit all the time. Another example of where you could be confusing the style of boot with the style of dress is where I paired my nude faux leather thigh high boots with the super glamorous white dress that is meant for a dinner party. These two do not go. I mean, the color combinations work together. It's nice, but that would be in a completely different type of shoe. These two, the length of the dress does not go with the boot, and it's just a no-no. So again, you need to avoid this kind of mistake uh, because it makes you look like you don't know what you're doing. And so make sure you're pairing the correct boot with the correct style of anything whether it be like pants or dresses just make sure you're getting those styles and making sure that the outfit is cohesive all right so tip number four is that you should not be wearing certain thigh high boots with a certain length of dress now this is something i do a lot where i love to pair my midi dresses with my thigh high boots because it's a great way to keep your legs warm in the winter but again you need to know how to do it so you need to work with a specific length of dress it should either be a length of dress where you're showing a little bit of skin in the thigh in the space between the dress and the boot or it should be a midi dress that's going to hit you mid calf and show off a little bit of the boots. It should not be anywhere in between that and I'm gonna show you. The first way that is a great way to wear it is what I described is a black midi dress. I got this one from Fashion Nova with some lace up thigh high boots. It looks very sleek, it looks really cute. I would wear this, I love wearing this outfit. But then you now can compare it to this dress. It's by Fashion Nova as well too. And I styled it with my nude faux leather thigh high boots. Now it's a very awkward length. It's just below the knee. And you're seeing a little bit, you're seeing too much of the boot and too much of the dress. And they're just, they're, they're not meeting the where they're supposed to meet <laughs> you're showing an awkward amount of the boot compared to the dress and it just doesn't go which is why i say stick to these specific lengths of dress again if you like it that's your prerogative for me it's a no 
So the very last mistake, mistake number five that you should be avoiding has to do with watching your colors. The colors of your boots should either be the showstopper, they should be the only thing standing out, or they should blend in with the outfit while another item of clothing is the showstopper. Because you don't want a case where you have too, too many colors that are vying for attention, then it all just looks like it's clashing and it's not editorial. You may think it looks editorial in your head, but sis, I'm here to tell you it's not. So <laughs> I'm gonna show you two examples here, one of what you should not be doing and one of what you should be doing. With the first outfit, I went in with a black top and some black bottoms. Bottoms. then I paired it with my nude faux leather over the knee boots and then I went in with my red sleeveless jacket from Zara now here there's too many colors that are competing with the nude and the red that's too much you have to pick one so either I would switch the boots to an all-black boot or I would switch the jacket out for something else which is an example of the next outfit that I'm going to show you here where I'm taking my nude plaid coat which is in the same or a similar color scheme to the boots that way they're blending together and then it makes for a well put together outfit. You don't want two things clashing, it never looks good. Again, if you like the whole look of two things clashing, that's 100% your prerogative. I'm just sharing my opinions. Those are my five mistakes to avoid when styling thigh high boots or over the knee boots. This has always been a huge trend for the fall winter season and so I hope you're able to take some of these principles and incorporate them into your own personal style. If you do want to see a bunch of outfits showing the correct way to style over the knee boots then I will link below my last video that I did where I showed 12 outfits I believe um, styling three or four boots I can't remember which but a lot of people enjoyed it and I hope you will too this video is going to be launching on Black Friday so I hope you guys have a wonderful Black Friday I hope you're shopping responsibly if you want a quick refresher on how to shop smart on Black Friday I also have another video that's gonna be linked in the description and in the info above so enjoy happy watching happy shopping and I will not see See you next Friday because starting December 1st I'm going to be dropping videos three times a week it's going to be Monday Wednesday and Friday for all of December so it's a month of increased activity I'm super excited to bring you guys more videos rapid fire it's gonna be a challenge for me but it's one that I'm excited for so you guys stay tuned make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell so you do not miss a single video that I will be dropping and like this video if you liked what you learned comment below the ugliest outfit you saw in the in this entire lookbook and I will see you guys on Monday at 1 p.m. I love you. Bye